Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new Let's Play on the channel, playing as it. Uh, yes, restore the Roman borders. So there actually is a bit of a tree we can go down. Pax Romana as well. Interesting. Okay, so let's have a look at Italy. So we are a Christian nation. Um, there's no, like, Catholic? There are, I, I guess yeah, it's cat. I'm just being pedantic. Um, it should be Catholic, I guess. Alright, unfortunately our economy is stagnating. Let's change that to stable growth. How are we going money-wise? Yikes, we're losing 11. Uh, the population tax is quite high. Once we start retaking old lost Roman lands, I'm sure we're going to be able to generate some money back. 7 on the corruption scale. The Italian General Confederation of Labor. Okay. We've got the clergy and the small business. At the moment, we have a large civil. Uh, what's our military? We've got a tiny military spending, so we definitely want to try and up that. But the problem is our money situation is quite terrible. Um, may, I, I think I need to make it at least a sizable military spend. Extensive police. No, let's drop that to basic. Uh, let's drop this as well. Universal basic healthcare. Let's try and drop that as well. Extensive welfare state. Okay. We got to get people off their vineyards. <laughs> Put them to work. We're currently a mixed economy. I uh, eventually want to go with globalized. We've got a volunteer force. Really? Oh, okay. It's not a um, mandatory, like, conscription. Oh, I actually didn't know that. I knew, like, Greece and Switzerland have a, a service. Huh. So volunteer, regional event interventionalism. We've got the officer corps. Uh, what defense factories do we have? Airbus, helicopters, Beretta. Yeah, I was just sort of say, do we have like a specific Italian defense industry? The Berettas. Cool. All right. Well, let's have a look at our focus tree. Um, I don't know where exactly I want to go. Oh my God, there's so much stuff down here. Do we want to bring in Georgia, Georgia, Maloney, or whatever her name is? I don't know. Anyway, the new sick man of Europe. Yikes. So, I guess we start that. The reference to the Turks, I think. Or maybe we should go down the industry. Yeah, actually, we might need to do that. Is that Augustus? <laughs> Tourism is our oil. <laughs> that, that's uh, so true. <laughs> okay, so... We can ask Germany and France for a bailout, but that's going to give them influence. I could ask the IMF for some loans. It's probably not a bad idea. Oh, wow. So, we've got the Italian mafiosos. All right, got to watch ourselves when we go through the streets of Napoli. Or Naples. Um, bonus. Okay, we've actually got some decisions as well. Bonus stimulus check. One-time payment bonus. Yikes. Italy has a lot of issues. <laughs> oh, my God. Conquering should fix that. All right. So, let's get with an intelligence agency. Um, I don't even know what it is. So, I guess it's the Department of Information Security. A-I-S-E. Let's create them. Research-wise. Wow. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six... Slots. Okay, so rifles-wise, we're already than better than the Greeks. So we can get an ARX 160A3. Looks cool. All right, let's get one of those. Um, we've actually got pretty good command and control equipment. Interesting. Uh, what do we got? Centauros. Okay, we were naturally producing Leopard 1 A5s. Seriously? I guess we must have had some German blueprint. Okay. 1995. We could get a better tank. Uh, artillery. We've got our self-propelled artillery. And then just your basic stingers and javelins. Decent navy as well. We can produce our own air wings. Same with bombers as well. I'm actually impressed of how much of a massive difference there is in the Greek slash Italian military industrial complex. Just because I'm coming straight off, to, uh, straight off after recording that last series. So let's go with increasing our industrial base. 
all over. And I reckon fuel is probably going to be an issue here in Italy. Okay, so diplomacy-wise, can I have a bit of a look at how we sit diplomatically in the world? Who likes us the most? Oh, Spain, France, Germany. It's because we've got military factory... Uh, sorry, uh, military bases in a lot of places. Stability is fine. War support very low. Manpower is incredibly low. We have 52 factories. All right, we're going to turn off... Gucci and <laughs> start producing weapons, I suppose. Um, two oil. Mm, two light. Zero rubber. Yeah, petroleum is what's really going to let us down. Two tech metals. 65 steel. Precious, precious metals as well. Oh, wow. We got 20 out of 29 civilian factories. That's fantastic. Well... Normally, you can focus on civilian factories and then eventually military. We're in a situation where we can kind of skip that because what's our production? Uh, it's 15, so it could be a little bit higher. But because we're in such a financial situation, we're going to build some office sectors. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be realistic. So most of our industrial hub will be up here. Well, there's not so much economic development in the south. So I guess we'll try and start off here so how long is that going to take february 2019 so it's still going to take two years so let's get a office sector in lazio and i think we're going to get some synthetic refineries as well on the next side there okay so let's start off with dropping all this equipment in um i think i might just get one of everything because we can probably spare it just to give me a little bit of an idea of what sort of materials we're going to be importing. We've got the Puma, we've got the Dardu IVF. Oh, so we are naturally producing the Leopard 1A5. That's not too bad of a tank. It's not an A2, but do we really need to upgrade this? Oh. They produced the MLRS. Or they have a blueprint for it. Huh, okay. Oh my god, look at all this fighter aircraft. Sick. Um... Tornado, Lightning 2s, we got the Predator drones, yikes. We've got some pretty decent close air support. We can go with a Generation 5 fighter, Lightning 2. Well, let's get one of those, even though they'll take a little bit longer. Let's go with the MAX close air support. Let's go with the UAV. And then I think I might just leave it at that. We might get a helicopter, actually. Okay, Navy-wise, how big's our Navy? Five fleets. Oh, my God. We've actually got a massive Navy. Bring back the triremes. <laughs> uh, let's go with convoys. We've got eight dockyards, so we can actually like not so much focus on like little shocking submarines. Uh, I would highly recommend if you've got a small naval indus industry and you only can build convoys, build s uh, and some, like one other thing, buy subs because they're so good. Um, what do I want? Do I want this one, the twenty ten? So let's go with an attack sub. Uh, we've got some battle cr uh, ships and cruisers as well. So let's go with a battleship. Let's go with a corvette. And a destroyer. We actually can get a carrier, which is interesting. That's going to take ages to build, though. Let's get a frigate for screening. And we could go with an older style of ship. Was it the helicopter hull? We don't have any of those. Let's go with that. All right. I'm actually just really surprised. The divisions aren't the best. With our manpower sitting pretty low. That's something we have to keep an eye on. Uh, Logistics-wise, it's mostly rifles and support equipment you want to look at. Okay, so 10 cases, not that much. Jeez, we don't have we have we don't have any main battle tanks. Are you kidding me? What the hell's in this? We'll find out eventually once we unpause. But yeah, okay. So at the moment we've got we've only got thirteen divisions. I've been talking smack comparing Greeks Greece and Italy's industry, but we have nowhere near as many divisions or tanks. Oh my god, only three men we've got absolutely nothing. We've got such a small army. 13 is quite pitiful. 
Um, Navy-wise, two carriers, though. Three helicopter, ten destroyers, seven frigates, eight attack subs, a whopping 14 corvettes. Well, let's grab everyone, and we'll move to... I'm assuming this is like the port of Ostia. I, I could be wrong. And what aircraft do we have just sitting about? Okay. 16. 7 UAVs. We don't have any close air support from what I can see, so that's not the best. Alright. Um, I can have a look around here. So yeah, I think going after Tunisia is probably the first plate. Now we do have Vatican City there. Um, we could... Can I? I can't even attack the Vatican, can I? <laughs> I was like, maybe I can bring them fully under my occupation. There's also um, San Marino here as well. Should we allow them to exist? I don't know. Alright, so where do I begin? So I think we just move everyone at least to... We've, got some, we've actually got some surprising good generals. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose we'll move you to here for now. Uh, there's no um, overseas territory that I'm missing. There's no islands that they occupy now. I don't know my Italian ge geography that well. Who owns that? Spain. There's no, like, little, like, we don't have roads anymore or anything. No. <laughs> right. All right, let's continue on. Okay. So... Let's go and focus on our industry. Alliance-wise, I don't really know if we want to lean on anyone. Let's go with uh, Italian industry, though. We want to subjugate everyone. Okay, so... Now that we're starting to fill some of this out, what, who, what's operating with this? There's literally one leopard... 18 propel howitzers. We've got some German equipment, though. But yeah, this is uh, going to be a tough series early on. So let's get our navy here in Sicily. Let's move everybody south, and we'll make plans and preparations to go and retake Carthage. So our next election is 2018. We do currently have a coalition. The Italian industry has now been complete. Okay, where do we even start? Um, I suppose continuing to upgrade the north. I think that's what we should really focus on. Just getting our industry absolutely tip top. Go after some of these smaller factions. Then we will move into some of the larger factions. Oh, an allied party leaves the coalition. Uh, that's a little bit worrying. The US is giving us supply. Okay, nice. So we actually can see what we need resource-wise now. We do have a bunch of civilian factories. So who do I want to import from? Canada's a lot closer. Australia is pretty far away. So let's negotiate with Canada to try and get those precious materials. Tech metals, we can get them from Australia, but I think they have to go through the Suez. Yeah, I guess we go with Australia. And rubber. Let's... Cote d'Ivoire isn't too far away. Indonesia's pretty far. If they're already going on that route from Australia, how, f how hard would it be just to stop over in Indonesia? Hang out in Bali for a little bit. All right, how's our money, guys? 14 still. Okay, we're building up some political power because I wanted to drop this again. It was the basic universal healthcare, I think. Yikes. And, yeah, let's drop that as well. All right. Okay, slowly but surely moving all our units over. So, and then we'll start setting up some plans for naval invasions. But... Italy is hosting a bunch of military face, uh, bases from former NATO countries. And Tunisia is not backed by anyone. But they are Western Outlook, which is interesting. We have a huge debt at the moment. We're going to continue to expand our civilian capacity where we can. So what does this specifically do? We lose $30 billion 
Population plus 10 tax revenue as well. Okay, so now we're starting actually to put up our manpower, which is quite nice. All right, well, let's make plans and preparations to reclaim Carthage. We're going to be declaring war upon Tunisia. I think going towards the south will be the play. We can use that port as a launching pad to get into the interior. Let's rally up the navy as well from the Roman port of Ostia. Six-star commanders, not too bad. I actually have no idea how big Tunisia's military is. Not the largest country, but we should be all right. Um, while we're there, we might push against Algeria. We'll see. Um, obviously, historically, the Romans chased Carthage all the way up to southern Iberia, as they controlled a lot of it as well. So we will have to deal with the mafiosos and the criminal underworld throughout this campaign. So it's something to keep an eye on. But it's February 2017. Uh, we're still in a governmental crisis. Tourism is our oil. That's what we're going through. But hopefully we can get the country back on track as we slowly but surely try to build the Roman Empire at as its historic height hopefully we can do it it's going to be interesting so I guess we're the Roman Republic now fuel wise not too bad we might need to look to import it uh, unfortunately our economy has stagnated again 7 on the corruption index we're losing 11 billion as well the French and Americans want to give us access to their satellites that's okay um, I think focusing on civilian and military infrastructure, building office sectors as well will give us money. Oh, nice. We can actually add a command for our army. Oh my god, there's actually a lot of these. I'm surprised we've got that many expert commanders. Okay, I think we'll go with that one. Okay, so just waiting for the naval invasion plan to complete and then we'll retake Carthage okay let's declare war upon Tunisia and let's go so I wonder if we're gonna get access to renaming some of these settlements here we'll see okay so let's go with close air oh interesting we got no air supremacy over the top as we haven't got any jets in that role okay so we have been intercepted but the bubble seems to be in our favor nice Sweden wants to send us some military reinforcements okay let's make a front line and move to conquer the country so they've got three divisions inactive they've got a estimated between four and seven only two factories, so air supremacy, we can throw in more of our navy. We should be alright. We've only got 60 convoys, so not everyone was able to land in the initial. Oh, nice. We're surging through. Sweden cancelled their military aid. Still have French and American satellites over the top. Okay, they're fifty percent to towards capitulation. Oh my god, we've only we've only lost three Romans, three Italians, and we've taken out a thousand. Hey, nice, fully capitulated them. Um, we'll take everything. So where was the old Germantian territory? Oh, probably like further south towards Libya. Nah, we'll just straight up occupy it. And that's a huge border now with Algeria. Mm. I suppose while we're there, we could go against them, but. The only problem is we will be moving into France's old colonial sphere of influence. I don't know if they guarantee the independence of Algeria. That could be potentially the issue. But anyway, let's make a front line on the Algerian border and look to continue. I only really want the coastal territory near Algiers. I'm not too fussed about the stuff in the 
Sahara, like in the deep desert. Got some jets we can bring in it now. Oh, nice. We actually managed to acquire some jets that can operate and t try and take control of air supremacy. Um, I think that's fine. Won't need to navally invade now. Algeria should have a larger army. And then I guess we could maybe move into Morocco. Bring Tingi. Tingus under our control. Um, I think we should reduce this quite a bit. Let's reduce the healthcare and elderly budget. Got it down to 9 billion. Was 11 before at stagnation. Okay. Alright, let's declare war upon Algeria. It doesn't seem like the French guarantee their independence. So we should be able to move on in. Nice. And the war between Algeria and the Romans is about to begin. We've unlocked a naval commander. Screening, maybe. Usually, there's not too many fantastic commanders or expert commanders from the officer corps that we can usually get. So they have, oh, between 12 and 22. Okay, so they actually might have military supremacy over. Why aren't we moving? My fuel is empty. We probably need to get more fuel. Let's try and get it from the Americans. It's a lot closer. Why aren't we going? Oh, maybe I need to redo it. Hang on. Whoops, a daisy. Why isn't it? Yeah, hang on. Let's redo this real quick. Alright, is this gonna... Wait, no, hang on. Why is it going from that? Hang on, just throwing. Giving them time to organize and cement themselves. There we go. No, it's this one. There we go. That's what we were awfully wrong. Right, go, 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 go. Alright, <laughs> instantly start pushing them back. I reckon... The Algerian military probably has a wide variety of foreign equipment and material. Probably from all the major players. They still have some decent number of divisions. They probably just don't have the proper armor. Okay, so stuff's going down in Sicily and Calabria. Still need to watch out for the... Mafia and the crime gangs and stuff. Um, oh, okay. February 2018. Yeah, so it looks like, unfortunately, this coalition is probably going to fail. But as long as we stay Western Outlook, it's going to be okay, I think. I haven't decided if I'm going to change the Outlook at some point. Keeping it Western Outlook, which is what the majority of Europe is, we could get more territory under our control. Oh, wow, the Algerian Air Force is actually beating us here. Oh, wow. Interesting. It's definitely something we need to improve. Because I want to recall... Uh, I want to call the old Roman provinces of Gaul, Hispania, Greece. But... Do the Romans want to have territory over the Danube? The Italians? Do we want to control Germany? Probably not. We might puppet them. Same with, like, Poland and Ukraine and stuff. We'll see. Okay, so let's reallocate this. But so far, doing quite well in this war. Still trying to build up our civilian and economic base. Pushing a lot better in the south, which is surprising. Crushing a unit there. Did we just liberate a faction there? I don't know. Most of the territories on the coast. So we've lost 200 to their 9k. We're gaining more factories as well. Okay, we're slowly but surely continuing to push them back. Yeah, if we can take Algiers, that'd be good. Emmanuel Macron has been elected president of France. I'm assuming he's president, not prime minister. No, they're a republic, aren't they? Um, Air Force commander now. As the Air Force is struggling over the top in Algeria. They're going to need some support. Um, 
Experience, command, air supremacy, a bonus to that's probably good. Okay, so now we're operating a bit better over the top. Is it because we're occupying their airfield? Oh, no, they moved them back. Yeah, we occupied the um, airport just outside Algeria. Or Algiers. Okay, let's continue to build up our economic base. Nice, crushing another division. Yeah, so our stability is getting kind of low. What well, says? Wait, no, we've got a hundred stability. What? Forza Italia. Okay. So they are Western. Yeah, it's fine. I was just double checking. Not like it matters too much. All right, we're pushing towards their capital now. And what we really want is these crucial coastal naval territory. Those dockyards. I don't really care about the far interior. All right. Algeria's capital is now under siege. And it is now under our control. They mustn't going to be holding for too much longer. It's ballooned to 500. But we've absolutely decimated their army. Which what seems to be with superior IVFs, tanks, and mechanized equipment more or less. Still continuing to do quite well. And then we've got a decision to make with some of their territory. I'm kind of tempted to maybe pop at them. Because I guess they're the descendants of... Well, there must be people here that were... Namidians. So I think I want this coastal territory first, just to have a look at it. Yeah, so we'll take that. Do I really care about this back bit? I guess I can pop at them. We can liberate these guys? No. I think I pop at Algeria down here. There's probably not much there, but I don't think we necessarily want... Oh, it's a bit of fuel. But it is important to pop it to some extent. To get divisions and basically two access of recruitment and deploying. And importantly, we can create a faction eventually. So, puppeting Algeria now. And we've extended to the coast of North Africa. Now, we're going to have to deal with Morocco, which is probably easier said than done. I imagine they are militarily far stronger because there's that um, separatist province near Mauritania that's trying to break away from them so let's move everyone over so I do think that they've probably got a bigger military let's move on over nice we've acquired some of the Algerian Air Force and I would imagine that we've probably acquired their Navy as well to some extent okay Still continuing. Yeah, I think we just focus on civilian projects and then we can do other conquering stuff. We're going to need way more fuel. Uh, we need rubber. Let's get that from Indonesia. Let's get more technology metals from Australia. And let's get some precious metals from Canada if we can. Oh, maybe we can't. Because we're in so many active wars, it's just sometimes easier to keep the fuel flowing uh, let's put some into convoys as we are navally invading quite a bit and into submarines probably I want to redraw this as well rebase them a little bit closer and let's go with convoy rating all right well let's probably get some units in production because we still are get, we're getting to a point where we're a little bit low and we've got a bunch of base material now that we've acquired from taking Algeria and Tunisia so I'm sure we've got a bunch of spare equipment in storage so let's get some divisions in Rome we've only still got about what is it 13 we could if we can get to about 50 eventually ideally that'd be good and we, we will be able to request units from some of our puppets as well but so far slowly but surely 
progressing quite well. Building up our sector, just need to get our economic woes and issues back on track. Going to ask the Americans for some more fuel. We will bail out the Algerian government. And Air Force wise, let's try and move you over. Yeah, so there is a small Algerian Navy. Interesting. So they're going to be able to help out. Alright, I'm curious to see how this one's going to go out. Okay. Uh, we could go... No, I think I should save up for globalized trade. We're going to get to a point where we're going to have a huge and large variety of... resources from Europe and North Africa. Okay. Still a fair few on that border. Alright, still doing undercover operations in Sicily. We can add more from our officers' court. We probably should do that. More construction has been complete. Nice. Okay. The time is nigh, so... War against Morocco. And we'll try and do the same thing. Capture some of the coastal territory. And then... Not too fussed about the rest. Okay. What's that? Yellow. Oh, does Spain actually occupy some... Militarized zones there. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's try and get some more fuel from the Americans again. The last thing we want is our tanks, our air force and navy not to run fully. We'll be giving the Americans influence in our country, but it's probably not too bad. Okay, we can request some units now from Algeria. Interesting, so they aren't pushing. So what do they got? Yeah, so Algerian, some Russian equipment. Okay. We do have air supremacy over the top. We've dropped it down to 6 billion instead of 9. Iraq is at war with the Kurds. Interesting. So, it seems like the Moroccan Air Force is nowhere near as good as the Algerian. Still on convoy raiding. Oh, and we're starting to do it now. What did we hit? Two Moroccan convoys. Nice. Yeah, if we can focus on... Tingi, essentially. Oh, wow. Jiri is actually capitulating a bit. We lost 52. Managed to take out 10k of them. Oh, it's because they're pushing against them. Uh, I can request another lot of divisions. Let's do that. And we'll try and bring them into this main line that we're pushing. We're unlocking de uh, land doctrine points now. Still operating with air supremacy and naval. Okay. So it looks like we're probably going to be able to wrap up this war even easier than the war against Algeria. Okay, so they are starting to hold now. Looking at the topography of Morocco, where we seem to be moving near a mountainous chain. Uh, oh, well, we're out of fuel again. I might need to look into ensuring fuel on mainland Italy. I might need to go into that because that's what's really letting us down once again. Now we're going to have to try and 
Oh my god, we need like 72 barrels. Okay. Yikes. It halted our push there slightly. Alright, maybe we need to focus on actually building fuel silos. Because we just can't seem to store that much. Okay, we're pushing from Algerian territory now. Still very much focusing on the coast. Our stability is dropping quite a bit. Our war support's up. Nice, we can get a better quality ARX rifle variant. Still got a bunch of manpower now that we're starting to acquire more population and core them. It was 50 to 100k at one point. Now it's like 800k. So we can fill up those divisions now. Yeah, the Americans are slacking a bit. So maybe we need to talk to Russia to get more fuel. We're acquiring more military buildings. So let's deviate some of those. Um, I think focusing on our fuel and civilian. Yeah, so we're going to go with fuel refinery too. That should help. And upgrading our fuel storage. Things have slowed down a little bit here as we've come into a bit of mountainous terrain. Yeah, we need tech metals for some of the high-tech ships. Oh my god, the carrier's coming in 48. That's so far away. <laughs> oh my god. It's probably not a bad idea if we want to be the main prominent power in the Mediterranean. It's just going to take some time. Okay. I can't see us losing this war. We've got them on the back foot. Only a matter of time before Morocco falls. And who were here historically? Was it the Gatulian tribe? I can't remember. Oh, we've lost a thousand now. So this is going to be our highest costly war and now we're going to try and push for their capital we are surrounding them quite well nice let's just try and push perfectly filled on the equipment um sometimes it's better just to have units and physical bodies deploying so let's draw up a front line and i'm curious to see how the french military is going to go now they will have corsica to the north and they do have some overseas territories as well. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with those. Like, why, do we really need New Caledonia under our control? Maybe. So let's draw up some front lines. Just in case we want the Romans to take, what, Australia? <laughs> um, we might even liberate some of the overseas territories as well. Because I think there's still a fair few. I might ultimately puppet France, we'll see. Uh, still building our office sectors. We're still trying to reduce our expenditure. Maybe if we acquire France, we should be able to fix a lot of it. Still dealing with a southern mafia problem, which is hilarious, but we'll see how we go. I all, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to build fuel refineries in Italy itself, as we are currently incredibly reliant on foreign imports of petroleum. There's simply just not much in Italy <laughs> and in Africa, I suppose, the north. We need to maybe set up some territory in um, what was the Eastern Roman Empire, I suppose. Um, yeah, so we definitely want to try and focus on fuel refinery and fuel bonuses. Military industrial complex wise, not too shabby. We also have 12 ports, which is pretty good, but I don't know if they're going to expect an attack. Okay, so we're nearly bad to be into the positive. That's not bad, seeing as our economy isn't the best. Um, I will be able to constantly request units from Algeria and Morocco as we've both puppeted them, so they're going to have access to recruiting and deploying units. Let's move them up. Oh, we've got an election campaign. Well, actually, no, we might actually do this before the war. Uh, still focusing on our infrastructure, still moving up. Okay. I can't get any more. Um, or there might be a change of government in the end. Okay, so these haven't quite filled up. The thing is, 
if we can basically just try and swarm France, I think we're good. Like they got no, they got nobody on this border, and I imagine most of the French special forces are probably in like Africa to the south. Okay, so I guess we attack the non-aligned. Western outlook does seem to be very much growing, which is good. So I don't think we're gonna have a change of government. I I, I think I want to stay. Western, um, there isn't too many advantages to switch to a fascist Roman Empire just yet. We've also got the Algerian Navy sitting in some of our ports, which is nice. Oh, so unfortunately he was defeated. So it looks like we've got a new president. <laughs> Villasconi, oh my god. Okay, so he's now in charge. Forza Italia in 2018. Still Western Outlook. Didn't need to form a coalition. And now Bellasconi is going to inherit the <laughs> invasion plans against France. Emmanuel Macron won't know what's going to hit him. Alright, here we go. War against the French. We're going to be going and conquering the goals. So they're guaranteeing the independence of Mali, Cote d'Ivoire, is it Bakuna Faso? I don't know all those flags. But we're going to surprise attack the French. We're going to liberate the people of Marseille, Massalia, the Hellenic people there <laughs> that they conquered. And uh, here we go. Navy, let's go with uh, convoy raiding because I'm assuming they've probably got a pretty good navy. We, we don't really want to lose that many ships but try and raid all around the surrounding territory in France we'll move our air force up to operate and let's go 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 the Franks and the Romans back at war again let's move on over let's just try and yeah, get over that border as quick as you can if we can cross the river near Montpellier. Push over to Saint Etienne. We should be able to swarm. Like, if we can just get over that river, we're good. We can just fly on in. Not nah, perfect. We've stretched them enough. Although we don't have the best high tier quality units, we're just swarming them now. Italy has pushed westward. And it's going to be pretty hard for the French to come back from this. They are trying to scramble. Units back from their overseas territory. Nice. We've managed to strike and destroy a French convoy. Toulouse is about to fall. And we're on the steps of Paris. Orleans. Once Paris falls. It's about... It's about game over. <laughs> oh my god, we're just running them down. Dude, the Algerians and the Moroccos... Moroccans put up more of a fight. <laughs> what the hell? Nice. Okay, so they have pushed down near Bayona, but not they've capitulated. That's it. F satellite French Guyana. Oh, yeah, because they're all the way over here. Do they actually own that? Interesting. All right, well, let's start off with occupying Gaul. And let's bring the province in. Uh, yeah, so I guess... Yeah, I guess we just take all of it. I was like, do I want to be that f close to Germany, I suppose? Okay, so... Um, oh, I do want Corsica as well. So that, I think that's all I want in here. The rest... New Caledonia, French Polynesia... I think we will satellite Guyana. Because it... Yeah, I don't really think the Romans want territory in... South America. Then we've got New Caledonia over here, which is near my neck of the woods. Never been. Seems alright, though. We've got a crazy shark problem, but so do we. And I think I'll just pop at the rest. Yeah, we'll allow France to rule all those tiny islands in their overseas territory. And then... Or maybe I should just... Oh, no, nah, I'm going to... No, nah, I'm going to conquer it. I was going to say, eh, I could relegate them to one small island, but... We don't want a Napoleon to happen. We don't want Emmanuel Macron to get ideas. <laughs> so, oh wow. The Axis is growing. They brought in the Iraqis. Okay. 
Well, we need to go to our next target now. Um, we've got territory over here in the Caribbean. That's so weird. <laughs> in that chain of islands. There is French Guyana. I'm sure they're happy that they're now under Roman occupation. And now we have New Caledonia. Berlusconi setting up a new holiday home just off the east coast of Australia. Hilarious. All right. Well, I think we now look to push over the Pyrenees and bring Hispania under Roman occupation. We've acquired France's military and civilian production capacity. Now, I reckon Spain are probably uh, guaranteeing the independence of like the Canary Islands, maybe? Or Andorra, I don't know. We shall see. Still focusing on civilian stuff. Oh, this is actually going to give us some fuel. Nice, we're finally making a profit. Damn, 7 billion. Okay, let's swing the Air Force around to the Iberian Peninsula. And we're going to be hopefully able to bring in another huge province. Oh, nice, we've acquired some of the French Air Force. Some of those Mirage fires we got. Oh my god, 11 convoys we managed to sink. Um, that's not too bad. Armenia joins CSTO. Syria joins the Axis. Oh my god. They're growing as a faction. Oh, it's because it's at 100%. Whoa, the Greeks and Turks. Um, I kind of want both of those territories. So. <laughs> Greece and Turkey both sit in the lands of what was the former Eastern Roman Empire. Oh no, the Americans won't give us any more petroleum or fuel. Yikes. I suppose they're not happy that we conquered France. I guess I wouldn't be either. So we're going to have to negotiate with the Russians to get petroleum products into Italy. Um, still making a bit of money now though. Still trying to pay off this massive debt. But let's see how the Spanish react. So, nearly got 40 divisions. We're saving up for global trade. <coughs> oh my god. Bless me. It's super sunny here in Australia. And um, I was just <laughs> looking at my um, <laughs> window. <laughs> Does anyone else have that? I think it's a trait. I think it's a genetic trait when you look at the sun. I sneeze quite a bit in my videos. Also, my, because I live in an old dusty house. Not much you can do about it here in Tasmania. But I think it's the sun. Looking at the sun makes me sneeze. Does anyone else get that? <laughs> anyway, let's request some more forces. Alright. War against Spain. So they are guar guaranteeing the independence of Andorra. Interesting. We could maybe go after them. Alright, pushing over the Pyrenees. We're going to call our allies. Morocco, Algeria, French Guyana. And we're just storming. Okay, they are putting a little bit of resistance up. We are hitting some of those convoys. Nice. Oh, I forgot. Oof. They had those pieces of territory in the south. Well, I actually don't... It might not be a bad thing. Because obviously, in Spain, their core territory has all the victory points. I don't care if Algeria, Morocco capitulate. It's not my territory to defend. Um, yeah, getting better quality gas fields is probably a smart play. Particularly now when the Americans have cut off our access to fuel. Okay, we're on the outskirts of Madrid. Still hitting their convoys. I wonder if some of these other powers... When they don't have access to fuel, they capitulate a lot more. Oh my god, we are just absolutely rolling through France and Spain. I think we had a harder time in Algeria and Morocco, I'm not going to lie. To be fair, we are kind of baiting them a bit here because we are luring them into the rugged, mountainous ranges of Morocco. And we're just focusing on taking the country. They've re allocated their capital to Morocco, uh, Granada, rather. They are going to be, like, exiled in Morocco. But we've nearly fully captured it. Gibraltar's going to be 
British, but that's it. No, they have capitulated. We've managed to acquire some Harriers as well. All right, let's take all of this former territory. And Hispania is back under Roman occupation. Um, those coastal territories there we want to try and grab, um, even off the east coast. Um, we can satellite the Canary Islands. What? Oh, because they're like super, super fast now. Okay, we'll... Oh, we'll just pop at them then. I thought... Wait, Spain has no other overseas territory? Really? Apart from that? Okay. Bit weird. Anyway, Spain has capitulated. Yeah, I, they... Uh, I guess it's been a while since I've looked at Spain. I thought maybe it's Portugal has some of that coastal territory. Oh, we can finally create a faction now, though. As we've hit 100. Um, let's do that, then. Let's negotiate with our biggest puppet and trading partner. Algeria, and we will obviously call this faction the Roman Empire. Exploit some of the other sides. Alright. Well. Um, yeah, so we can't really start any of this. Maybe we just need to upgrade the army, more or less. But so far, Air Force, our navy is incredibly strong. Our supply isn't too bad for our divisions, as we've conquered a lot. Maybe down here. All right. Well, um, we're going to try and fix our monetary uh, our monetary policy. We could very well pay off some of our debt because we're starting to make some money. But now we're at a stage where, because all of this territory is divided up with so many nations, I don't think they're going to like really threaten us from Slovenia, Zagreb, Macedonia. I'm just going to go and declare war upon all of these factions here, <laughs> just to save time. If they form some Balkan alliance, that'll be hilarious, but we want all of this territory. That was Illyria. We'll attack the Serbs as well. They're probably going to be the hardest. All right, well, let's storm on in. We have over 50 divisions now. Let's go, 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 go. Now, we'll set a front line all the way down to Macedonia. All right, let's charge on through. The Romans back in Illyria. We have an opportunity to rid these pirates. Slovenia won't be too hard to deal with firstly. What's the bigger arm? What's the bigger army? Five or one? We're about to find out, I guess. I'm surprised they haven't formed a faction. The Americans um, do guarantee the independence of Kosovo, but they don't seem to be coming in, which is good for me, I guess. All right, Slovenia is now capitulated. Let's bring them in. Oh my god. <laughs> So many of them are falling. Croatia has fallen. Nice. Let's conquer all of it. I'm just trying to see what's over the Danube, because I could pop it. Some of the states at some point. Oh my god. <laughs> Serbia's fallen. And now we're moving into what was formerly Eastern Roman Empire territory. We could puppet Dacia. I am open to that, but I don't think we're going to occupy Romanian territory. We'll definitely look to go for Bulgaria soon. Um, we will obviously go into Greece. They're currently at war with the Turks, so we might have an easier time going over there. Uh, they've now capitulated. And last but la not least is Albania. We can't allow, allow the heirs of Epirus to come back. We don't want a Pyrrhic victory happening. That's the last thing we want. So Dyrrhachium has been liberated. The Roman outpost. Nice. And Illyria slash the Balkans is fully under our control. Nicely done. The Roman Empire is continuing to grow slowly but surely. And we are 
really fixing our debt. Our stability is a little bit low, which is annoying. We'll try and pay off some of that debt though. My god. Our industry is massive at the moment. Fantastic. And yeah, that's about roughly this is historic territory. Did wait, did they occupy Austria and Switzerland? I don't know. The Helvetii maybe I think they maybe subjugated them, I don't know. Anyway, um, I think I might simultaneously attack Greece and Bulgaria. Now, I reckon a lot of the Greek forces are probably hanging out on the coast there. Just trading at the moment. The Turks and the Greeks, either side gaining the supremacy. They always tend to go to war <laughs> in Millennium Dawn. I don't think I've done a series so far when they, have, when they haven't. And we'll push to the Bulgarian border as well, because we want to try and bring... The former lands of Thrace under our control. Eight oh, percent. The government's still a bit sketchy. We can switch to stable growth now. Our money's not the best. Wow, making twenty billion. We're really going to be able to start paying off that debt. Uh, this, uh, we can't go down any more anti-corruption stuff. Maybe we'll try and fix the judiciary. Precious metals. We're still importing a bunch of fuel. We've managed to mitigate some of our fuel issues. Building fuel refineries in central Italy. Uh, let's try and fix that. All right. Let's pay off that debt a little bit more. And then we'll go for this two-prong war. Now, I don't think Bulgaria is going to be too much of an issue. Greece. I'm going to fight to the, well, very last Greek. So, we'll declare war upon them. And Bulgaria as well. One emerging, one western. And let's set a front line all the way. I think it's easier going after Bulgaria because we can maybe swoop down from the north a bit easier. So let's go all the way down to the southern Peloponnese. Oh, bear with me. I need to move my air force over. Get them into position. They were operating in the Balkans well. Let's get a couple more. Nice. So we're going to flood in over from the western Balkans. So they do have roads and a couple of island territory. Oh, maybe the Greeks have taken a bit. We are going to engage them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I can't see them lasting very long. Oh my god. They're about to fall. <laughs> it's because they're focusing away. Oh, wait. What's this? The Turks? The Turks want to join my faction. Uh, the problem is... You own one of the old Roman cap capitals. You own Constantinople. And Anatolia. Oh, that's a shame. Nice. They got him. I think it was Alexandropolis. Alright. We can satellite Crete. A free and independent Crete. That's a bit weird. We're going to occupy all of it. And bring Greece back under Roman control and occupation. Nice. Look at this. The Roman Empire is starting to take... A decent and familiar looking shape. And the Turks still want to negotiate with us. I'm afraid that's not on the cards. Okay, let's uh, set up for this war now. This can be quite tricky. I know from experience in my Greek series now, we really struggled. Um, we, were, we were bailed out by the Americans ultimately, but we spent two three episodes really fighting for it so thankfully now the Turks aren't going to surprise attack us in this series so we've got time so I think militarily and material we've probably got more production and output so we can take our time on this one but we want to set up a couple front lines we want to set up a couple naval invasions I'm curious to see how our air force does they could potentially have more divisions than me Maybe. 
but we'll see. I reckon our Navy is better than theirs. Air Force is probably tied. Army-wise, we might slightly have the edge, but they're going to have the numbers. So I will be dropping a lot of divisions just to give us more men, more bodies on the ground, more boots on the ground. But the topography of Turkey is incredibly difficult to conquer. It's really, really easy to defend. A lot of choke points, a lot of narrow straits, bridge, and river crossings. And then you've obviously got the mountain ranges. Just three, four tiles <laughs> inwards of any of the coasts. So even if you do break in, you really have to try and surge. Piece of territory we might be able to use as an outpost and a staging ground. Oh, nice. Whoa, oh my god, we took Istanbul. Wow. This is doing so much better than in the Greek series. So they're, maybe they're a little bit weak from that. I think there's about 50k casualties on either side. Uh, we took Greece. We liberated Thrace. We took the Balkans slash Illyria. Gaul slash France is currently under our control. Hispania, obviously Spain, is under our control. We have managed to liberate the old provinces. So we're going into what were the lands of Pontus, Pergamon, Galatia. We'll take a lot of it, particularly the territory in and around the coast. Um, who were here back in the day? Was it the Seleucid Empire, from what I can remember? <laughs> we can't bring them back, but maybe in the Far East we could look to liberate some of it because we, we weren't that far east. Obviously, when you get to the, um, the Caucasus, the predominant ancient power over there, which stretched a lot of it, was Armenia. They're a lot smaller now. And there's other bigger states like Azerbaijan and, and Georgia. I guess like Georgia is in that Colchis sort of region. Why am I struggling to move along here? But so far, still doing incredibly well in this series. Let me know in the comments. We'd like me to expand and conquer next. We still need to launch an invasion of England. Recapture. Reconquer. <laughs> Hadrian's Wall. Rebuild it. <laughs> Keep the Scots out. Um, but yeah. Once Turkey gets put back, I can't imagine we're going to have that much hard competition here in the Far East. But, okay. As the weeks and months go on, we are struggling a little bit to push. Okay, so now we're getting there. Just a couple divisions tied down, unfortunately. Hmm. Turkey's just a hard country to take. Oh. Oh, well, okay, that's maybe why. We are winning some of the close air support bat battles, but for air supremacy, the Turks surprisingly have it over us. Hmm. I wonder if they've got more better quality fighter pilots? I can't imagine they've got that different, like, systems. We've got a nice combination of MiGs and Mirages and... Oh, they might have an F... Uh, I don't know. Do they have F-35s? Or was there a whole drama that them not wanting them? Or not let being allowed to have them? <laughs> I think they've got F-16s. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. So, we've taken Istanbul. Constantinople. Convoy rating quite well. Okay, so my prediction was that we probably have naval supremacy over them, which we do. Surprisingly enough, Air Force-wise, we don't. Still getting more fuel refinery, because that's where we're sort of lacking. We might even get more fuel once we move into Anatolia, which nestles between Europe and Asia. That was the main problem we were dealing with, fuel issues. I'm sure we got a lot of off-sea oil rigs and refinery. Oh, wow, the Turks have a lot of divisions here. This is going to be our most costly war, I think. 
Yikes. What's the famous quote? Geography is destiny. They're holding out a little bit longer. Just need to retake this port here so we can connect a land bridge up. Nice. As war rages, we unlock more land doctrine options. Okay. Yeah, so the first initial break out of this war, we're doing alright now. Things have slowed down. Okay, so there's a little few pockets of resistance there, which we don't want to hit us in the rear guard. Let's try and redirect this. I think we're going to do okay. We're going to win this, but I don't know how much by. Although they were a little bit weakened material-wise with that war against the Greeks, they've still got the experience. Okay. If things keep progressing this way, we're going to be alright. We're slowly but surely gaining more uh, ground. If we can get those airfields under our control, that's probably the bigger change. But we're slowly but surely fixing our... Italian debt crisis annexing most most of Europe. Uh, we've still got the Germans to deal with. Should we um, avenge <laughs> the battle for Tudorberg Forest? I think I read that in the focus tree. You can like an avenge Tudorberg, which is uh, quite funny. All right, let's get some more anti-tank stuff. Oh, finally, we're upgrading our air doctrine. I suppose we're getting a lot of combat as our fighters are having a hell of a time here in Turkey in the air. Yeah, look at that. The Turkish Air Force seems to be outmatching the Roman Empire. The Italian Empire back. Who would have thought? Under Billisconi. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they they are really halting us on the uh, coast here. It's making us struggling to push right. I need to reorganize all this. Everyone's all over the place. We have managed to take Ankara and Istanbul, which is surprising that they haven't capitulated. Those two cultural... <laughs> Capitals. Yeah, it's the air supremacy. That's probably what's allowing them to s stay in some of those pockets quite well. Looking at the casualties sustained in... Oh my god. Lost. We've lost 41k. They've lost about 30, but they already lost another... I think it was like 40, 50 in that last battle anyway. Yikes. That's um incredibly ballooned. I think the max we hit in those last couple of wars was only a thousand or so. Forty thousand Romans lost in the battle for Anatolia. Worth it. <laughs> Seems we've got two million now, I guess. Okay, so now that I've reorganized this slightly, the bubbles are back in our favor. Okay, so they're about... 40% left before they capitulate. They are making us work for this. Damn. I think we just need more divisions. Like, even if they're not that good, just getting more units over here, the better. Like, just... We don't even need to reorganize this properly. Just get, like, the 30 over here just to push. Get those boys in. Get those bodies on the front line. Man, I wouldn't have, I didn't expect this war to go for that long. Yikes. We're coming up on like 250 factories though, which is fan bloody tastic. But we're back. We're liberating 
the Eastern Roman Empire under years of false Greek Byzantine rule and Turkic Eastern influences as well I guess <laughs> the Hagia Sophia is back now under our control Justinian would be proud okay I think we're good now look at this still dominating on the coast now we're pushing in the far eastern interior though mustn't be too much longer but then where do we go next I think like if we can beat the Turks like this 52k we probably can make plans and preparations to go against England because everywhere else I don't think it's gonna be that much of a challenge like if we go down the Levant Egypt might be a bit of a struggle but we're roughly getting to the point now where We've gone past the difficult phases. France, Spain, some of the North African former Carthage territory would have been an issue, but the Turks are giving us a run for our money here. But ultimately, I think we're going to be able to push on through. Navally invading into England slash the UK will be a challenge. And if we finish the remnants of the United Kingdom and some of their overseas colonies slash old empire imperial holdings I don't really think anyone else can probably stop us nice finally capitulated so let's just start off with taking the coast yeah unfortunately Armenia is not in this so it's usually this bit here. Now we can't. We could puppet them back there. Nah. I think I'll just take it. I wish I could have. I would nearly think about liberating the old kingdom of Armenia. Oh! Ukraine wants to make an alliance with me. <laughs> they want to join the Roman Empire. That's, uh. So weird. Um. I mean sure is it because they're about to get attacked uh, Crimea is not under their control they have set up some invade oh my god they've got a war goal against them Ukraine has a war goal yeah well they might attack them maybe <laughs> well the thing is isn't Moscow considered the third Rome after the fall of because isn't that that whole thing because Rome and then Rome fell and then it was Constantinople it's got something to do with the seats then, like, um, after the fall of Rome and Constantinople, um, Moscow became the third Rome for the Orthodox Church, or whatever. Isn't it called that? I don't know. I'm sure my Orthodox bros will let me know in the comments. Alright, well, we're going to now start making plans and preparations to head north to France, back to Normandy. And we'll start setting up some invasion plans. And then we're gonna liberate the old old the old Roman lands of Britannia. We're gonna bring back the Romano British. I wonder if there's anyone that can like trace their lineage back to like the Roman Brits. <laughs> Like before the Anglo-Saxons and the Normans and stuff, maybe. We're getting sort of in that King Arthur time period in <laughs> folklore territory. Okay, still dealing with the mafioso. My stability is not good. The non-aligned parties are still growing. We are carving a lot of our... Uh, multiple billions of debt. We got some wide scale protests, but that should subside. Unfortunately, we're in a little bit of an economic crisis because we just brought in Turkey as a province. Wait, what? <gasps> oh no. Would you believe it? We've had a civil war. Well, it wouldn't be a Roman campaign 
if there wasn't a brother versus brother. Oh, so there's an emerging outlook. Is that because of the mafia? Oh, it's in some weird pockets. Oh my god, we're actually really close to capitulating. What the hell? We've lost a couple of our high-ranking generals. And a lot of units have spawned. Oh, no. Now, uh, to be fair, our stability is quite low. It had been for quite a few points in this series. Yikes. Well, we need to retake Rome. We need to take back some of that more strategic territory. Oh my god, they nearly capitulated me. We don't have air supremacy. Oh No, we're going to have to deal with this before our invasion with Britain. Oh my god, we're actually halfway to capitulating. Yikes. Is it just a civil war or is it because of the mafioso stuff? Maybe. You'd think that'd be more in the south. Not so much in the high metropolitan stuff in the north. Oh my god. So Algeria, French Guiana, our puppets will come. We have been sort of trying to dismantle and tackle various mafia elements. <laughs> the Vatican wants a bailout. What are they spending their money on? Oh, wow. Scotland remains interesting. We could have potentially leveraged that. Yeah, we just want to try and fix up our economics. It's going to take a little while to get everyone over there. Yeah, Morocco as well. They're not a part of our control. That's interesting. So in the power vacuum of a civil war, a bunch of our puppets... For all intensive purposes, um, declared their independence. We've got a massive amount of divisions now, which is really nice. And we'll set things up. Um, a thousand get days for support equipment. No, we don't need to do that. What else do we have here? Yeah, let's get a better quality tank. Hasn't it's been a while since I've had a look. A few leopards. I would imagine, like, when we took and acquired a bunch of Turkish and Greek material, we probably got leopard twos. A decent amount, you'd think. Let's build some more office sectors to get our finances back. We're still hovering around that fast growth and stagnation. I feel like we really struggle to get out of that economic boom. We are currently on globalized trade. Unfortunately, we have lost a lot of influence with countries, so it's going to be a little bit hard to get the materials in. So we're going to have to go around and shop around quite extensively. Yeah, it does look like they might push against them. Which would be interesting. Alright, we need to merge up the navy. There we go. Because we're going to need those guys to go with convoy support. I don't think we're going to have too much of a difficulty against the British navy. You never know. Famous last words, I'm sure. But, and it's not the same British Navy as of old. Oh, I'm going to have to redo this as well. That's annoying because one of my ships deployed. You can set this to actually just go straight to the fleet. Which is rather nice. So we want to try and do that. And we'll try and get like a rough... Split, that'll do. So we've got 18 there. So we've gone over that 50, 60 threshold. That's like a bare minimum for Millennium Dawn. Okay, let's move you to Brittany. Then we'll get some in and around Normandy and Calais ready to go.
I'm assuming the Scots and the Irish will probably help us, because we're going to ultimately give them their independence. Okay, let's move you around the coast. But fuel. We survived our first scale invasion. Civil War wise. Okay. Uh, let's set up some of those front lines now. There we go. Plymouth. Uh, Southampton. Wherever we land first, we might just need to flood everyone in. If we can secure southern England, the better. Now, they will have some high specialized troops, but this is pre-2223. So I wonder if they've still got a bunch of their tanks still. China declared war upon Japan? What? Anyway, um, we're going to declare war upon England now. We've taken control of the faction. And now we can declare war. The naval invasions have been set up. Had to wait 30 or so days. But now we're good. Okay, so we've landed in Plymouth. Let's set a front line. And we want to go all the way... To Aberdeen. So Latvia. I thought they were already in. I guess we can invite them again. <laughs> so the Roman Empire has Ukraine, Romania, and Poland in as allies. A little bit bizarre. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, so Algeria can't come in. I've forgotten about Gibraltar. <laughs> and they've pushed me there. I'm going to have to send an army down. Um... Yeah, why can't you join? A little bit weird. Now, it's actually going to be quicker, probably, to get some guys from Rome than it is from northern France. So, we'll swing you down there to try and retake Gibraltar. I forgot about it. Little oof. Yeah, it's a shame they can't join. They're emerging. Oh, maybe, actually, maybe they... I know they're Western. What about the Canaries? Western. <laughs> I love how they're just, like, free and independent. Yeah. So it looks like Algeria sided with the, um, Italian... Separatists. Alright, so... Now that we've got a port, let's just move everyone in. We don't need to do those other invasion plans. Swing on in. Go, 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 go. And just make sure you focus on the southern coast. So we're not just relying on one port. I don't know how much our allies are going to overly help us in this one, but... I'm sure Poland <laughs> and Romania will give us moral support against the English. Um, okay, let's go here. We could liberate Cornwall. I think I'd rather occupy it, though. I think it was under Roman occupation. Things got a little bit weird when the Vikings happened, but... That's another thing we could do. I could do a Viking series. Maybe try and recreate Dane law. Okay, so they are starting to move some forces to stop us, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's bugged. It just keeps on popping up. I think we've probably committed too much. Okay, so we are going to try and tie down some divisions here in Gibraltar. Ideally, if I can take it, that would be great. We've lost two. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just bugged or it's a bit weird for whatever reason. I'm just doing it because I want to make sure they're in. Okay, so we're starting to flood on in. If we can take Bristol and Cardiff, that'll be great. 
We've lost 28. We've lost 6k. Nice. We're slowly but surely charging into the English interior as Cornwall has fallen to the Romans. Our flyboys are engaging aerially. So we're getting some experience there. Heading towards London, or I like to call it Londinium. Okay. So, looks like we've taken most of the border territory in Wales. We're going to have to go in. Deal with the Welsh Celts. Uh, we've got some divisions we can send over. Gibraltar is still under their control. We've pushed those that have just extended into Malaga. Okay, back north. A lot of southern England and central has fallen. Pushing into Newcastle now. We're about to go over Hadrian's Wall. Interesting development there. Okay. London still hasn't fallen though, even though most of England has. Nice, we can switch to a fast economy now. Still hemorrhaging a bunch of billions. Okay, so we actually have air supremacy over the top. Interesting. The RAF is um, not doing well against ours. Okay, fuel hasn't become an issue yet. Cardiff has fallen. Wales is fully under our occupation. Even whoa, wait, we're just why are we charging so far there? <laughs> we're just like f not taking Scotland. <laughs> a little bit weird. Leicester hasn't fallen. The lads holding out. Oh, they're about to capitulate now though. Nice. Oh my god, they elected Jeremy Corbyn. Bring him in. Maybe brings in the Soviets. I don't know. Nice. That's it. They've capitulated. Alright. Well, let's divvy up and partition England. So all of England is ours. We'll take that. Along with like Jersey and Guernsey, I guess. Take the Isle of Man. Um, we will liberate and puppet Scotland. Bring back the Picts. As we don't want to occupy that. We are Roman after all. I guess we'll satellite some of the overseas territory. And then we can puppet the UK. Um, so what? So I want Gibraltar. British, Atlees, Falcons, Cayman Islands, Bermuda. I think I want to take... Do I want all this? I want all that. I want everything but Northern Ireland and that. So we're going to return Northern Ireland to Ireland free of charge and I guess I'm going to puppet the UK down here yeah they can have them they can have the Falklands we'll puppet them down there though so the Navy's going to reallocate and <laughs> <laughs> Boris is in charge oh that's hilarious Boris king of the Falklands <laughs> um, that's so bizarre <laughs> so I guess we puppeted them Yep, so Ireland has been fully reunified. Scotland is free and independent as well. Well, unfortunately on that note, it is time to wrap things up here today and uh, maybe potentially the series as well. I feel like we're at a point where we've just... Well, the, the, we're, at, we're at a point that if we attack anyone else, we're just going to steamroll them. I can't see us losing this campaign from this point. And now with Romania, Poland, Ukraine joining the Roman Empire in this alliance. Um, yeah, I can't see them stopping us. Now, we just don't have the Levant. Uh, we also don't have a little bit of that North African and Egyptian territory, which was the traditional height of the Roman Empire. But it's not going to be that hard to take it. So let me know in the comments. Should I continue? But if not, I'm going to put a pin in the campaign series here. We might start something new tomorrow or we're going to do episode six. I haven't decided. I'm curious to know your thoughts in the comments. Should I continue? Should I restore the Roman Empire? Let me know. But without further ado, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for more daily Hearts of Iron 4 content on the channel. My name is Ben Simsey, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.